Hey guys, it's Jules. So today I wanted to share with you one of my other passions, not that it's something that I'm like a professional at or uh, even necessarily great at, but um, interior design and interior decorating is something that I absolutely love. To me, I think of it as a form of art. I like my house to be full of things that are really unique and personal to me. I consider my home a haven and a safe place and I want people who come into it to feel that way too so it's very important to me that not only is it homey and warm and inviting but also that it reflects my personality and my interests and um, just feels the way that I want it to feel so um, that being said we are currently renting our house we don't own it we're not necessarily going to be living here in Florida forever so we figured it was probably the most responsible thing to just continue renting until we're ready to settle down wherever that may be. So one issue with renting, for me at least, one thing that I don't like about it is that you can't really make your home your own in the way that you could if you owned it because you know you it's not yours it belongs to your landlord so we made the mistake in our last apartment that we were renting of like painting the entire thing and I loved it during the time that we were there I guess I shouldn't call it a mistake because it really did make the space nicer while we were there but we had to be up until like four in the morning before we moved out like repainting everything back and leaving it as the owner wanted it so when it comes to renting I've sort of realize that the way to go is to find semi-permanent solutions, things that are gonna make the house look great, but aren't going to be there forever and are easily movable, removable, and that you can pick up and take with you when you leave. So for example, we have these above our dog's crates because I had this big, big wall. I didn't necessarily want to buy a huge piece of art. So I found these. I think I got these either online or at Target. I think I got them at Target. And they're just like little stickers of birds that go onto the wall. And one day I'll give you guys like a full tour of everything. But anyway, those are super easy to put up. You know, they don't cost a lot of money and I can take them right down and I don't have to worry about repainting or anything like that. So those are awesome. One of the things that I'm proudest of in this rental um, that I've done is our kitchen. We're coming into the kitchen now. This is the door to the garage with my little apron and our clock. I keep all of our like family photos and stuff like that on the side of the fridge because I just feel like it makes the whole kitchen look cluttered when I have it on the front. So here I have our whiteboard, which I decorate for every season. And then what I want to show you here is that I have adorned all of the cabinets with these empty picture frames. And every time somebody comes into our kitchen, this is the first thing that they notice. They're like, oh, that is such a cool idea. Let me see if I can step back here and show you kind of the whole thing. So the countertops are a little bit cluttered right now because it's the holidays, so we have everything kind of out for company. So see, these were really sort of just like cheap, ugly white cabinets, and I was not happy with them. I wasn't really happy with this tile either. You know, there's just like no real pattern or anything, and it was kind of bumming me out. So then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna kind of go with this. This kitchen is funky. So I decided to just incorporate all of these really funky elements into the kitchen like here I have this big wooden owl in the window yeah, I have our fish here then up in here I put like books I have just little moments that I created with plants and books and a little Bon Appetit thing I got that again for like ten dollars at the Target or something um, you know this little cow that I got in a thrift store more books a lamp um, more frames these are coconuts from a tree that fell and then the frames and I feel like the sort of overall look that has been created is this really fun warm space and you don't even notice those like ugly tiles so how did i get this done this is what i wanted to tell you guys about every single one of these frames were thrifted from goodwill or salvation army they ranged from 25 cents to two dollars this big one that i put here is i think that was the most expensive one it was probably two dollars it might have been like three dollars i didn't measure before i bought the frames. I just sort of got a bunch of different shapes and sizes because I knew I had a lot of different shapes and sizes on my um, cabinet. This was actually black and I 
painted it white and then like scuffed it up. But they're all different. Some of them are metal, some of them are wood. <laughs> this is the only thing that has something in it. This is the juice menu from Whole Foods because we got a Vitamix blender and I figured why spend $7 on every single juice that I get there when I can just bring home the menu and uh, make them myself. So yeah, that's the one frame that has something inside of it. Yeah, you, if you want to be precise and measure, you can, but you know, it's not necessary. I did it fine without measuring. Now, as far as making them stick onto the cabinets, I have tried a few different methods. Velcro, I would say works like the second best. And you can see here, oh, actually this is a good example of what I'm talking about, if you can um, tell. So this is Velcro where it's like a sticky side on one side and then Velcro on the other and you attach it. But as you can see, it's starting to lose its stick and come off. Um, still, that's lasted me for a really long time, but the Velcro is like, it's good, but it's not my favorite thing. My least favorite thing were these little guys. They're just like the little, I don't even know what to call them, but they're like poster sticky things, little sticker things, very technical term. Those would lose their stick the fastest, I found. The frames would end up falling at night and scaring the crap out of my husband and I. And we thought that somebody was breaking in the house, but it was just a bad sticky thing. So what I like best to hang the frames is this stuff. It's called Loctite Fun Tack Mounting Putty. So mounting putty, removable and non-toxic. It holds up to one pound of weight and you can get different degrees of strength. So with this, I got this at Walmart for like a few dollars and it just comes in these strips and you can rip off however much or little you want and hang up your stuff. I just put a ball of it on the back of the frames on all four corners and just stick it right onto the wall and that's it. You can kind of see it on this one. I did sort of like a hack job because it fell off and I was in a rush so you can sort of see it sticking out of the side but the rest of them you can't see it at all. It holds tight for a really long time and if it ever loses its stick it's just really easy to replace. I hope you guys found this helpful. It's hard when you're renting you know you have to kind of Think of little tricks and little ways to make it your own uh, without damaging the place. And for me, this is something that I've received a lot of compliments on that makes me feel really good about the space, which I didn't even like before. So I thought it would be worth sharing. And even if you don't do it on your kitchen cabinets, the empty frames are just a really cool way to fill up a space inexpensively because I know big pictures and big art can be extremely expensive. So just go to the thrift store and see what they have. Get empty frames and arrange them in different ways. Hot glue them to each other so that it's three dimensional and then hang that on the wall. Just use your imagination and play with your home and, and with your environment. And I think you'll find that you start to enjoy being there more. At least that's how I feel about my home. So thanks for watching everyone. Comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.